Okay, so I know most of you were expecting the Jango Fett video to be the next 12-inch Star Wars review, but I'm like Ryan Johnson. I subvert expectations. And today we're going to be talking about the Star Wars Saga 2002 Garandin 12-inch figure. Garandin is probably my favorite backgrounder in all of Star Wars ever. Uh, I mean, he's not technically a backgrounder. He technically had a voice line where he went, ring, ring, ring. like, he did do that. And he, he did, like, tell the stormtroopers, like, Man, they're, they're, they're in docking bay 94. I mean, he did that, but that's all he did. Uh, but I love him. Uh, I love how he's a long, snooted, imperial spy guy. And his design is amazing. And he's really creepy and cool. And he got an amazing 12-inch figure. Uh, so, if you don't know me, I love 12-inch Star Wars figures. And I love Garandin. Uh, that has also been established. So, I was so happy when I finally got the 12-inch Garandin. Uh, moving the cloak off to the side, you can see that his garb is very Imperial-like. Uh, this almost gives me the assumption that he's like an actual Imperial, but I always kind of thought he was just a spy hired by the Empire on Tatooine. Um, but he has an Imperial garb. He has the Imperial belt. He kind of has the outfit. Uh, he kind of has the boots. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, while he's kind of undressed like this, let's talk about articulation. He has a very nice ball joint at the head. You can get all the range you want there. Ball hinge at the shoulders. Uh, ball hinge and swivel at the elbow. Just swivels at the wrist. Uh, just a swivel at the waist there, and it's kind of hindered. Uh, pretty standard articulation for the hips. Very tight as well. Uh, single hinge for the knee. Swivel at the knee as well. And then nothing really at the shoe. Nothing really at the foot. I mean, it does have the standard joint, but you can't really do anything of it because of the boot. Uh, so yeah, he has articulation. It's there. Um... He also had one accessory, which is, of course, his little communicator. I mean, he needs to, you know, tell the Empire, hey, they're, they're, they're going to they're gonna be here, man. You got to get here quick, dude. They're going to be here. Oh, what, what do you hear? You hear a little, little, uh, sorry, I, I just, um, yeah, they're going to be here, though. Okay, that out of the way. Let's talk about his tunic, because it's a really interesting material. Uh, you can kind of see on the camera, it's not like a standard fabric. It's kind of coarser. It's uh, not as rougher and irritating as sand, though, but it is kind of a coarser cape. Uh, it does it does allow for it to sit very nicely over his head, and I really do enjoy how it sits on his head there. Um, looking at the head itself, though, you can see how it's wrapped up. It kind of looks like Scarecrow from Batman right there with the tie. Uh, I really do like that. His goggles look so cool. Let's zoom in here, because oh, I love this guy. I'm so happy I made a video on him. Uh, his goggles look so cool. And his snoot, I don't know if his giant snoot is like a part of his body or if it's almost like a gas mask sort of thing. I'm sure someone knows. But it looks more like a mask almost, like his snout is actually in there. Uh, but still, super cool design. Ah, oh, man, Th this design is from 1977. And to this day, it is still absolutely stunning. Um, there isn't too much else to talk about with him. Uh, <laughs> I love him very much. Uh, let's see if we can get him in the most uh, uncharacteristic action-oriented pose I can. Because, I mean, it's it's Garandin, dude. Uh, he didn't come with any weapons. He just came with his communicator. But that's fine. There we go. There's Garandin. He's, he's doing a thing. He's... He's like, oh no, they're they're in there, all dramatic like. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to make a character out of a, out of a guy that does not have a character. Um, but yeah, uh, there's there's today's upload. It's just a, a quick little review of the 12 inch Garandin. I love Garandin so much. He had a Saga Collection figure. He had a Power of the Force 2 figure. I have both of those, of course. He did have a video game representation in Lego Star Wars 2. I wish there was an actual minifig of him. Uh, I would just love all of the Garandins ever, please. Uh, he is my favorite boy. Um, honestly, this is this is pretty proper. If you're if you're kind of into Hot Toys and Sideshow and you're cherry picking the Hasbro ones uh, to kind of put in your display, this is one where I would have absolutely zero problem putting it with a Hot Toys or Sideshow display. Um, it's just a simple enough design. I mean, would Hot Toys and Sideshow be able to do too much better than this? I don't really think so. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much rambling, so the video is of at least a sort of decent length. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end it here, though. Thanks, guys, for checking out my review of the 12-inch Star Wars Saga 2002 Garandin. I love this guy.
and you should too. Uh, I'm I'm the official president of the new Star Wars Garden fan club. Um, if you want to join, message me on my SoundCloud. I don't have one, but message me on that. I'm basically, I was about to say one of my other social medias, but I don't want people to message me on my other social medias about the Garden Fan Club because it's not freaking real.